Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you step by step how I create this amazing soft cut crease. So stay tuned. So let's begin, shall we? again so I will be putting on the NYX Pro Filler it's a nice soft matte next I'm gonna use Palladio brown brow pencil to kind of just fill in my brows next I'm gonna use max pro long wear fluid line Make them a little bit more defined. Then I'm going to use Studio Finish Dual Brow Concealer and just kind of give my brows a little bit more of a definitive shape. Next, I'm going to use LA Girl Pro concealer in orange to just cover any kind of hyperpigmentation, dark circles, all that jazz. And then I'm going to go in with Tarte Concealer and I'm going to just go ahead and blend that out with my Beauty Blender sponge. Applying some MAC foundation, prolong wear, waterproof nourishing. Next, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. It's a little bit brighter than the Tarte. Go ahead and just kind of brighten up underneath my eyes, and I'm just gonna use that in the T-zone area. Next, I'm going to basically set underneath my eyes with Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. It's my go-to. I normally don't bake for that long, just for about a couple of seconds. And then I'm gonna use Max Saddle. You guys have seen from my previous video, it is my go-to kind of like transition eyeshadow before I go ahead and put anything on my lids. And then I'm gonna go in with that same Huda Beauty concealer. And I'm gonna go ahead and just create a cut crease. Going back in with that Huda Beauty Coral Obsession. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press that eyeshadow onto my lids. And I'm using the two shimmery colors from that palette. They're very pigmented and I just love how my eyes turn out. Just going ahead and blending that out on my outer crease. On the outer creases of my eyes. Just softly blending that out. Next, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the Sultry palettes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on the corner of my eyes. I'm pressing that in and I'll then go ahead with that blending brush and kind of just smooth it out a little.
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use NYX Epic Ink. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a little liner. Then I'm gonna use the mascara Better Than Sex and just kind of go ahead and apply that mascara before I go ahead and put in my Lily Lashes Miami. Now you wanna go ahead and cut your lashes so they're not too long. I also have a lash holder. Now you wanna take your time applying the lashes and I always love using the lash clamp. It just makes it so convenient to go ahead and drop it right in the center, right above the lash line, and then go ahead and adjust it from the front to the back or whichever is comfortable for you. Next, I'm gonna use Safara Micro Smooth and just add a little warmth on the lower parts of my cheek and my chin. Applying that to the perimeter of my face. Next, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Cold Crayon, and I'm just going to put that on my waterline towards the outer corners of my eyes, stopping just midway. Then I'm gonna use the Real Technique brush along with the blush called Ambering Rose by MAC. Then I'm gonna use Artist Couture in the color La Peach. And I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my cheeks. And it just gives it a nice glow. Just focusing on the T-zone area of my face. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply MAC Lipstick Twig. Now, I normally start with a lip liner before going on with the lipstick, but I did it in the reverse. Then I'm gonna mist my face with Mario Badesco Facial Mist. And I'm all set. This is a hair that I reviewed in a previous video. This is the Jasmine hair, so definitely check that video out. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think. Let me know if there's any other videos that you're interested in me showcasing. Be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Bye.